Hey everybody, today we're starting a new series called Searching for Gold. In this series, we look for unique, special, interesting hardtails out there for sale and highlight them. Today's video is sponsored by The Pros Closet. They have over 700 certified pre-owned mountain bikes in stock ready to ship today. And any purchase you make from The Pros Closet using the code below supports this channel. It doesn't cost you any extra money and you get free shipping. All right, let's see what we can find. We are at The Pros Closet. Let's shop for mountain bikes. Now The Pros Closet also has components if you're looking for forks or cranks or chain rings they have those too and some of their stuff's new it's not all used let's go to mountain oh sweet they know i love hardtails and they've linked <laughs> the word hardtails let's just click that and filter it Woo! so many hardtails let's see if we can find something unique let's start at the bottom and work our way up now brand new bikes aren't always better than the older ones for example the new santa cruz chameleon awesome bike for a certain type of riding i think that bike's fantastic over 20 miles an hour but at under 20 miles an hour or on flowy or twistier stuff or slower speed jumpy playful stuff the previous generation chameleon is a better fit and so don't always think that the new bike is the better bike so I have a confession to make. I have a new addiction. <laughs> I go to the pros closet and check regularly to see what interesting stuff they have because they have used hard to find one off, sometimes custom bikes that you can't find anywhere in the world. And it's kind of like back in the days when eBay was big and you could find really unique, rare custom stuff on there. Well, for me, the pros closet has become that. All right, man, a lot of hardtails out here. They've got filters and stuff. I'm gonna turn the filters off. All right, Pro Caliber 19.5, that's too big for me. Pro Caliber S Works Epic. Ooh, that's a large, I'd need a medium. You can filter by size and all that, but, and I'm also a little reluctant to filter by size because what used to be a large now fits like a medium these days. So I wanna make sure I don't filter out something I am actually interested in. Uh, Diamondback Sinker Pro, Scott Scale. So you'll notice some of these bikes are more expensive than you could find on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or your local classifieds. Why are they more expensive? Just like the used car market, when you buy at a dealer that's gone through the certification process and they've replaced the tires and they've detailed it and made it look perfect and all that, you're gonna pay more for that than when you buy from your neighbor or some shady guy across the country that you've never met. It's going to cost a little bit more. And for some people, that's really worth the peace of mind knowing that, hey, this bike has been inspected. The frame's been inspected. They have a 141 point inspection process by a professional mechanic. They're replacing brake pads, they're replacing tires, they're replacing any component that's out of spec that's not fit for duty. And not only that, they have a 30 day, no questions asked return policy. Now there are some details you need to read in before you do that. They're not gonna pay shipping both ways. But if you get the bike and you just, you're just you just not happy with it, it was the wrong size or it just didn't click with what you wanted, you can return it. That is something super unique. You can't do that on pink bike buy and sell. You can't call up the dude and be like, hey, I threw a leg over this. It should have been a medium and I got a large. I'd like my money back. That doesn't happen in the used world. So the pros closet is offering a service that nobody else offers and you will pay a little bit more for that. So that gives a lot of peace of mind, not sending money to some random person across the country that you've never met, hoping that a bike comes back. Okay, let's find some interesting stuff. Ooh, a Ragley Mbop. You guys love Ragleys, as do I. I'm gonna hit the little heart icon on that and save that to my favorites. That's an extra large, so it doesn't fit for me, but it's interesting. Advocate Hey Duke. Hey, that looks like an Esker Hey Duke. I'm gonna save that. That looks interesting. Single speed. That's fun. And what a great way to recycle bikes. Not everyone likes buying a new bike all the time. It's fun to give these old bikes new life. Let's see, Cannondale. Ooh, there's a Chameleon. It's an extra large. I'm still gonna like that because it's interesting. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm looking for something unique that I'm gonna have a hard time getting in for review or something that's just really special. Hey, a DB9, those are really hard to find. That's a large, I got a DV9 behind me. That's my wife's bike. Open 
Those are not cheap. Those open 0 1.1 frames. Ooh, a Reeb Diculus. Awesome. We're going to heart that. Like Fuse. Sweet. I love these Trek 1120s. I've never ridden one, and I'm curious. That's an extra large. It's not going to fit me, but I still want to go look at it. Highball. I want to ride a highball, but I'm going to need a medium. I'll still heart that. Look at this. A Yeti Arc with a trust message on there. Interesting. I've reviewed that bike, so I'm not going to heart that one. Uh, let's see. This is so fun just seeing what's available. There's some unique things on here. Pro Caliber Project 1. Cool. That had the custom paint job somebody paid for. All City Electric Queen. Those are pretty cool. Air 9 RDO. <laughs> Ooh, there's a highball size large. I'd want a medium. I've been wanting to try a highball lately. Ooh, a, okay. So this is another thing about the pros closet. A lot of industry companies will do a photo shoot with a brand new bike. It'll never really see dirt. Maybe they'll do a quick video edit with it, a limited edition bike and then they sell it, and they sell it to the pro's closet. For example, this Yeti Arc 35th anniversary, if you have to have this color combo, it's got wireless shifting. It's it's built, it's blinged out, and it's not a bike you can get anymore. It was a limited edition. This is one way to find unique stuff like that. Ooh, a Stinner custom mountain bike. I don't know anything about Stinner, but I like the word custom, and it looks cool. We'll check that out. An epic pro medium. Man, there's too many good. I'm harding too many things. There's some good stuff in here. Hmm. There's an epic. I like the epic. There's a Yeti Arc. Ooh, a Chromag Stylus medium large. Those are hard to find and hard to find in the States. And they've got some stuff in here like BMCs that I can't, I've never seen in person because we're in the States. A 24-inch titanium kids mountain bike. That's cool. A Ragley Piglet. Ooh, those are awesome. That's like a steel Marley. Excited about that. S-Works Epic. Size small. That's beautiful. Hey, a Spot Rocker Single Speed Steel. Those are sweet. Okay. Ooh, another stash in a medium. Awesome. We got two stashes on there. Specialized Epic. Okay, I'm going to need to tighten my parameters a little more. There's too many cool things on here. Uh, which bike should I review? These Pivot Lesses, I've ridden a couple. They're a little off for me. I want to see a BMC two-stroke. That's one thing I'm looking. Ooh, a Scott Scale with a Luff fork. I've been wanting to try one of those forks. I'll see if I can find the fork. Ibis Tranny 29, Canyon Exceed. Whoa, okay, here's a super unique one. A Jones Plus long wheelbase, rigid all-terrain bike, and it's a medium. That I'm interested in reviewing. That is too cool. Uh, Linsky Helix Pro 29, Chromag Primer, medium large. All right. Um, What else we got? Gunner Ruffian single speed. I don't know about that, but it looks interesting. I'm surprised how many single speeds I find on here. And I'm a nerd and I think single speeds are awesome. Whoa, another stash. Awesome, there's some good stashes on here. Okay, Specialized Epic, Hardtail Pro, Sklar. A Sklar. Okay, most of you don't know what a Sklar is. Okay, decision over. You never find a Sklar for sale. There's like a six month waiting list to get your name on the list. There's a huge deposit. It takes over a year to get one of his bikes. They're custom built to the riders. They are super expensive. Super exclusive. He's like one of the most elite builders right now, price-wise and just demand-wise. So I'm never going to get a Sklar. I've reached out to him a few times and he's like, sorry, dude, I've got like so many people in line ahead of you that are paying customers. I'm I'm not going to be able to get you one anytime soon. Okay, so let's go look at all these bikes. All right, so here are all the bikes that I've favorited. There's some really unique stuff in here, and this video would be two hours long if I went into each one and what makes them interesting. Um, I found gold. I'm here searching for gold, and I found it with this Sklar. I'm going to get that one. I'm not even going to dig into the other ones yet. I'll let you guys do that. If you're interested in any of these, go look at them and go dig into them. 
I'm afraid this thing's gonna get purchased quickly, so I'm gonna act fast. Okay, they give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 condition. Very good condition, not quite like new, but better than average. Let's just look at the pictures, okay? This is, mm, such cool lines on these Sklar's. He's a young dude, he's a young builder, and he builds modern stuff. And in this small build world, there's like the old school guys who've been doing it for 40 years, and they're not, in general, too anxious to explore modern geometry and push the limits. They're all sticking with like the 69 to 72 degree head angle. Sklar, they're pushing it, just like Newhouse Metalworks. This is really cool. All right, so beautiful swoopy frame. We've got a rigid fork, single speed, steel. Okay, so here I can see, I can zoom in. Here's a couple nicks on it. This is really cool, and you can even see some light surface scratches here. I can't tell you how many bikes I bought and sold where I've emailed the person selling it and said, hey, when were these pictures taken? And they'll tell me, oh, actually, I took that three years ago when I bought it new. So they're showing the pictures not how the bike looks today, but how it looked when they first bought it. So of course it looks great. Well, the pros closet shows you exactly what it looks like right now. Cool, made in Montana. And the reason they do this is so we can get an idea. You know, I don't see chips in the chainstay. Oh, White Industries cranks, Hope brakes. But they're giving me the best shopping experience I can get to have an idea of what this bike's going to be like before I get it. These are super high res picks, and this is the actual bike. A lot of people see these pictures and think, oh, they just pulled them off the website. No, the pros closet has a dedicated photo team just taking photos of these. Sliding dropouts, mm, this thing is so cool. I'm sorry if you're not nerding out like I am. This is really special though. Rigid fork, whew, you got some Maxxis. Look at that clean cockpit. We got an integrated stem and bar. Oh, this is cool. So cool. Interesting how the cable goes around there. What a beautiful picture. This thing has such good lines. These are big tires. So I'm betting they went through and put in new grips. They do things like that. And so they get the bike fresh and ready to go. So when you get it, you just ride. You don't need to worry about replacing brake pads or tires or whatever. All right, here's a scratch, probably down to the primer. That's good to know on the seat tube. Appreciate them highlighting that. Whew, that is a beautiful bike. Okay, I gotta hurry. I want this thing. Let's learn a little bit more about it. Upgrades, new WTB Silverado, lightweight and slim saddle. The design oozes speed while proving to be incredibly comfortable. So they've upgraded the saddle. Who knows what it had on it before, but uh, the mechanic saw it and decided this needs a more up-to-date saddle. New Originate Pulson, Pulsion locking grips. New TRP brake rotor. So there's a new rear rotor. Maybe the old one was bent or had a little bit of surface rust. New bottom bracket. Awesome that they replaced that. New Race Face XC trail seat post. Okay, we got a rigid post on there and a new chain. And then the master mechanic that went through this made a couple notes about this. Front and rear brake bleeds. Awesome, firming up the lever pull and creating consistent grab. So a lot of times when you buy used, you have to either do a tune-up yourself, which is no problem for mechanics like myself and some of you, but some of you don't wanna buy a bike at the edge of your budget and then go take it to your shop and spend another 150 bucks to get it tuned up to work. So that's part of what the pros closet does as well is tune it up, get it ready to go. Light scuff on drive side seat stay. So they've got their 141 point inspection, 30 day hassle free returns. If I buy this and I'm just like, you know, I thought it was gonna be cool, but I can't do a rigid here. I'm able to send it back to them. Now there's, there's details to that. Like I'm gonna have to pay return shipping, but I'm not gonna be stuck with this $4,300 bike that I don't love. Pretty awesome that we can do that. Not only does it ship fast, but when I get it, it will take 15 minutes or less to put it together and they will include all the tools. I've never bought a bike from the pros closet, so this will be interesting to see. So let's nerd out on the specs. We struck gold on this thing. It's expensive, but just the Sklar frame, look at what those cost and we're getting a complete bike. This is pretty exciting. So 2018 Sklar, uh, custom model, size medium, steel, one by one. They have the actual weight, 25 pounds, four ounce. That is not bad for a 29 plus steel frame 
And this thing has carbon wheels too. I saw those Santa Cruz Reserve carbon wheels. Sklar made the fork. It's a rigid steel fork. No travel in the back, just your knees. Hope Tech 3 hydraulic brakes, threaded bottom bracket. White Industries 30 tooth uh, with a 20 tooth in the rear. Awesome. I can push that all day long. A 30 tooth with a 20 tooth. That's a nice spinny single speed. 175 mil cranks. These White Industries cranks are awesome. Uh, made in the US. I'm excited to see those in. Handlebars. It's a Sklar bar stem combo. 720 mil wide. All right. Narrow bars back in 18. White Industries headset. Sklar bar and stem. Race face seat post, WTB Silverado saddle. That's my favorite saddle. 12 by 100 front spacing. It's non-boost, 12 by 142 rear, which is fine for single speed. Santa Cruz Reserve 30 carbon wheel set with Chris King hubs. Okay, so people are going to be freaking out that this bike is $4,300. Have you seen what a carbon reserve wheel set with Chris King hubs goes for? That's probably a $2,500 wheel set, just the wheel set. And these have been inspected by their mechanic. There are not going to be any cracks, no issues with the wheels. They true them up. They get them all ready. It's running DHFs, <laughs> 29 by 26 front and rear, and they look pretty new. Bike ships tubeless. Awesome. I want this thing so bad. Okay, uh, we've got some geo that they've actually measured, 68.5 degree head angle, which is actually good for a rigid because it's not going to sag. Uh, 73.5 degree seat angle. I don't have a reach measurement. Whew. I'm getting it. This thing's too cool. Now, I'm not actually going to pay for this because the Pros Closet is a sponsor of mine. So they're going to send it to me on loan. I'm going to take it out, show you what it's all about, take it out on the trails, do a ride review video of it, and then box it up and send it back to them. And it will go back on the market. So anyone interested in this bike, there's one of them in the world I'll let you know. It'll be when that review drops. You'll be able to buy it that day. So if you're as stoked about this as I am, it will be available. I'm betting it'll sell that day, but we'll see. Who knows? All right. It's time to check out and get this thing shipped to me so we can take a first look at it. So excited to check this out. All right. That is some simple packaging. Here's what it looks like inside. Bars, wheel. I mean, this is gonna be real simple. And this is their claim to fame is that you can have it out of the box, ready to ride in 15 minutes. These reserve wheels look very good. Almost brand new, one tiny little scratch on them. Ooh, beautiful Hope rotors. Chris King hubs. This thing is cool. A bike doesn't have to be cutting edge brand new to be cool. I think there are some really cool older bikes out there. All right, we're two minutes in and I just have to throw the front wheel on. That was simple. This was in the pictures and I thought it was a scratch down to the clear coat. Remember, it was just grease. They forgot to wipe that off before they took the picture. So I've got a scratch up here and a scratch up here and a scratch here, just like it stated. The good news is what I thought was a big old scratch was just grease, good. Yeah, so this is a hardtail purist bike, rigid, single speed, no dropper. It's just a simple, unique machine. Now I just need to throw some pedals on and air up the tires and this thing will be ready. For pedals, I'm giving you a sneak peek at a product that's not quite on the market yet. These are five devs flat pedals. They are absolutely gorgeous. I will show you more of these in more detail later, but uh, they're what I want to throw on here today. First bike I've had with White Industries cranks. I remember these were all the rage in the 90s. They're still made in the US. I've been trying to get some to feature on a build and demand is so high even now that I'm having a hard time getting them for a build. This thing is clean. If it was my bike, I'd touch it up with some red nail polish or I'd hit up Sklar and find out what exact color he used and get a little touch up bottle and just touch it up, it'd be perfect. Man, there's some cool stuff going on. Ovalized tubes that flare out. The down tube is ovalized. Beautiful looking build. Just. He has such a good eye for aesthetic. 
Oh, this is so cool. Awesome, that Chris King hub sounds amazing. This is in way better shape than I expected. It's funny, you see them on your computer, you see the little dings and they look so much bigger on the screen blown up and then you get it in real life. Looks really good. Okay, got lizard skins grips. Another little ding on the handlebar that I didn't see. So, oh, those brakes feel really good. They just bled those. This is one of my favorite shop tools. If you don't have one of these yet, get it. I've got a link in the description below. And all the tools that I use, head over to my toolbox tour. I've got some really useful links in there to the greases that I use, to the tools, all the little tips that make building bikes easier. Oops. All right, these are two sixes, so I'm gonna go, let's say 22 pounds. I'm digging these brakes too. Man, this whole build is just beautiful. And most people in the mountain bike world would not see this as a beautiful bike. They'd skim right past it and move on because it doesn't have a dropper. It doesn't have a Fox suspension. It doesn't have gears. This has some really special stuff going on that only the hardtail nerd would appreciate, I think. Oh, one thing about Sklar's, because the top tubes humped, your brake levers can definitely still scratch a top tube. It's been a while since I've had something like that. We struck gold. I was searching for gold. I struck gold. This thing is so cool. It might not be what you guys would have chosen, but it might be. I'd be curious to hear out of all those bikes I looked at and favorited, which was your favorite? There's some cool stuff. What would you have gone with? I am thrilled about this wide industry headset, Chris King hubs, Hope brakes, wide industries cranks, single speed, wide industries bottom bracket, just a simple, pure beautiful bike. I'm going to be reviewing this thing and taking it on the trail to let you know what I think of it. If you're looking for something unique that's hard to find and you don't mind searching a little bit to find something great, go check out theprosecloset.com and make sure to use the link in the description below. That will support this channel and let them know that you saw it here and help them send me more cool bikes like this for future reviews. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to show you what it rides like on the trail. Thanks for watching. There's a party in the mountains and you're invited.